Hey guys, so today we have part two of two of my beauty empties analysis. Part one was focused on makeup, part two is focused on all other beauty related empties, so skincare, body care, and hair care. So backstory is I have been documenting all of my beauty empties on my channel since 2017. Well, 2017 was the first full year that I did empties videos on my channel. I decided I wanted to do something with all that information, all that empties data that I had. So what I did was I tallied up the number of products that I used up in each category per year, and I felt like it would just be a really cool way to see, on average, how many of these types of products do I use up in a year just to better get to know my own personal consumption habits? This video is going to be structured really similarly to part one. If you missed part one, that was focused on all of the makeup I've used up in the last five years. I'll leave that linked for you below if you missed it. One quick note I want to make before we get into the numbers re is regarding minis and samples. For mini products, I count that as one item. And for deluxe size samples, which are like a really teeny tiny mini, I count that as a half of a product. And then samples that are in like a sample packet, I don't count those at all, except for in the case of single use face masks. So in case you're wondering what the halves mean, that's, that's what that means. First, let's get into the category of skincare. So the first type of skincare product is makeup remover. And I actually have two separate types of products that I broke this down into. The first is face wipes, and the second is cleansing balms and cleansing oils. So starting with face wipes, this is something I've stopped buying altogether just because I prefer cleansing balms and they're a little bit of a lower waste option. But five, six years ago, I remember face wipes being the main way that I removed my makeup. So in 2017, I used up two packs of face wipes. In 2018, I used up four. In 2019, I used up one and a half. I think the half was like a little sample that probably came with like five or 10 wipes in it rather than like a bigger pack. And then in 2020 and 2021, I didn't use up any face wipes because I stopped buying them. Um, for a while there, I was using microfiber, like makeup eraser type cloths to remove my makeup, which those you just wet with water and they take off all your makeup and you can reuse them over and over again. So that was how I first replaced makeup wipes in my routine. But then I found cleansing balms and cleansing oils and started using the double cleanse method, which I much prefer just because I felt like after a while, I was realizing that those makeup eraser cloths, I was kind of having to really rub at my skin quite a bit and cleansing balms just completely removed that problem because you just melt them into your skin and then rinse them off with water. So it just felt like a slightly gent gentler way of removing my makeup. So anyway, the average number of packs of face wipes that I've used up over the last five years is one and a half, but I think this number will continue to be zero just because I don't really need them in my routine. So then we have cleansing balms and oils, which are all in one category. So I didn't use up any in 2017 or in 2018. In 2019, I used up two. And I think in 2019, these weren't even labeled as cleansing oils. I think they were just straight up oils. One of them was like an argan oil and one was a vitamin E oil, I think. And those were just regular oils that don't have any like emulsifiers in them. But I did use them for the purpose of, of removing my makeup before I found like actual cleansing balms and cleansing oils that turned out to be a little bit easier to use for me. So anyway, in 2019, I used up two in the kind of oil cleansing category. In 2020, I used up two, and in 2021, I used up three for an average of 1.4 per year. But if you take just the years 2019 through 2021, which are really the only years that I've been using these types of products, I use up an average of two and a third per year. Then we have the category of face cleansers. This was really interesting. I was surprised to see how many I used up, especially in the earlier years. In 2017, I used up five. In 2018, in 2019, both I used up six. In 2020, I used up five. And in 2021, I used up four for an average of 5.2 cleansers that I've used up per year. It sounds like kind of a lot. That's more than I would have guessed. But I think the reason the number went down slightly in 2021 is that I started only washing my face at night. That's totally fine to do. Many dermatologists recommend that, especially for sensitive skin. And 2021 was also the year that I started using a prescription retinoid for acne treatment for my dermatologist. So because my skin became a lot more sensitive in 2021 because of that, I found it really helpful to just cut back to washing my face once a day instead of twice. So I'm thinking as long as I continue just washing once a day from now on, this number will probably stay around like three or four instead of five or six. I used to have much oilier skin and I used to just think it was totally necessary to wash my face twice a day. So that's why I went through so many in those earlier years. 
So then we have face scrubs. I haven't used up very many of these over the years. I've never really been big into face scrubs. I much prefer chemical exfoliants over physical exfoliants. In 2017 and 2018, I used up zero. In 2019 and 2020, I used up one each year. And then in 2021, I used up zero. So that's an average of 0.4 per year. And I think the ones in 2019 and 2020, I ended up mainly using up as a body scrub or like a foot scrub rather than for my face. So maybe I should have counted them in the body scrub category, but I think I did also occasionally use them on my face So I'm gonna count them as that but I think this number will continue to be zero for years to come I just don't feel like face scrubs are necessary for me at all then we have toners and this is specifically Toners that don't have any actives in them. I do have a separate category for um, like leave-on chemical exfoliants that are often in a liquid format similar to a toner. These are just your traditional toners that don't have any actives. In 2017, I used up zero. In 2018, I used up three. Two of them were actually like the Dickinson's Witch Hazel. I used to use that as a toner. <laughs> Haven't thought about that in years. That was such a blast from the past to see those in those old empties videos. In 2019, I used up two, and then in both 2020 and 21, I used up zero. I definitely don't feel like toners are an essential step for me, but um, lately I have gotten back into using like a hydrating toner from Paula's Choice, so I'll probably have at least one toner empty this upcoming year. But the average number of toners that I've used up over the last five years is one per year. Then we have another category for chemical exfoliants and or acne treatment products. This includes things like the Paula's Choice BHA liquid that I've always loved. In fact, I was even using those back in 2017. Also things like glycolic acid toners, like the one from Pixi I used to have. And then also I used to use benzoyl peroxide acne treatments that also counts in this category. And I think there was also like an e.l.f. acne fighting gel it was sort of like a spot treatment with salicylic acid in it. Anything like that is counted in this category. So in 2017, I went through four of these. Uh, in 2018, I went through four. In 2019, I went through two. In 2020, I went through three and a half. And in 2021, I went through just one. Again, mainly because 2021, I started using topical tretinoin. So I moved away from using almost all actives on my skin altogether, except for the retinoid. So over those five years, the average number that I used up per year is 2.9 or about three. All right, so then we have face serums. In 2017, I used up zero. In 2018 and 2019, I used up two. In 2020, I used up three, and in 2021, I used up four. So you can kind of see the trend increasing over those five years. The average across all five years is 2.2 used up per year. Serums are now a regular part of my routine. I really like having a serum that's meant to just kind of target a skin concern. Lately, it's been hydrating serums. That's what I've been using, like hyaluronic acid or peptide serums. Yeah, I just find them a really enjoyable step in my routine, a little bit of an extra add-on. Uh, to use underneath moisturizer, but they're also not essential. Like if I am cutting out any steps in my routine, it's probably gonna be either serum or toner. Sometimes I'll just use moisturizer and that's it. But I do think that this number will probably stay around three or four per year from now on. Then we have facial oils. So this is a category that I don't really use much and I never have used a ton of facial oils. I don't really enjoy using them, so I don't think I'm gonna buy them anymore. But in 2017, I used up one. I think it was one that I'd gotten in like a subscription box. Then in 2018, 2019, and 2020, I used up zero. In 2021, I used up two. And the two that I used up in 2021, I also would multitask with them and use them on my body just to go through them because, again, like I said, I don't really enjoy using them on my face. So my average, number of facial oils that I use up per year is 0.6. And I think that will continue to stay around there, if not even zero per year, unless something changes and I decide I like them after all. <laughs> then we have moisturizers. This one is really interesting as well. In 2017, I have recorded that I only used up one. Now, another thing, I mentioned this in the makeup uh, empties analysis as well, but my last empties video in 2017 was posted in October, and then my next one after that wasn't until January of 2018. So like I mentioned in that video, there are probably some products that I used up in those last couple of months of 2017 that were carried over into my 2018 empties. So some of these 2017 numbers might be a little bit lower than they actually were, but this is just the best I could do. But apparently in 2017, I only used up one moisturizer, and this is back when I had very oily skin, and there was a time, I I feel like it was pre-2017, more like maybe 2016 and earlier, that 
I wasn't a big believer in moisturizing my skin. And I, I feel like, I know that sounds crazy, but I think a lot of people used to think that way, especially those of us with oily skin. I always thought, oh, well, I have oily skin. I don't need to moisturize. Like, my skin produces enough moisture as it is. But luckily, I learned I was wrong, as you will see reflected in these numbers in the later years. Uh, in 2018, I used up three. Again, it might have been more like two and two those years. I'm not sure. In 2019, I used up four. In 2020, I used up five. And in 2021, I used up eight for an average of 4.2 moisturizers per year. Eight definitely sounds like a lot. And oh, another thing I want to note here is that my boyfriend also has been sharing a lot of my skincare, but especially my body and hair care. So that might explain some of these numbers being slightly higher. Uh, we do share a lot of those products now, when in previous years I wasn't sharing any of these products with anybody. So that could be part of the reason why the moisturizer was so high, but usually we have our separate moisturizers and we don't really use each other's. And there were some moisturizers that I talked about in my 2021 empties videos that he used up and I tried not to count those towards my numbers here. I tried to just stick to the ones that I knew I was the one that used up. So anyway, eight does seem kind of high, but again, like I keep mentioning, 2021 was the year I started using tretinoin on my skin, which can be very drying. So I was mainly using hydrating skincare. That was pretty much the only skincare I was using and sunscreen, <laughs> as you'll see in a minute. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm surprised I went through eight moisturizers in 2021. That does sound like quite a few, but at the same time, I, I mean, my skin just drinks it up now. So the average number of moisturizers that I've used up per year is 4.2. Then we have the category of lip balms, which I do count as a skincare category. In 2017, I used up two. In 2018, I used up five, which is the most ever. 2019, I used up one lip balm. 2020, I used up two. And in 2021, I only used up one lip balm, bringing the average to 2.2 lip balms per year. You know, the reason I think I only used up one lip balm in 2021 was probably because I was mainly only using one lip balm, the Paula's Choice Lip and Body Treatment Balm that comes in a big pot. And because that lip balm was so effective, that was the only one I needed to use and I only used it once a day in the evenings and it lasted me a very long time. So I think that's why I only used up one lip balm in 2021. Then we have lip scrubs. I don't use lip scrubs often at all. Um, 2017 I used up zero. In 2018 I used up one and that's the only year I used up any lip scrubs. The rest of the years were zero. So my average lip scrub used up is 0.2 per year. Then we have eye creams and eye serums that I lumped into one category. This has been pretty consistent over the years. In 2017, I used up two. In 2018, I used up one. In 2019, I used up two. And then in both 2020 and 2021, I used up three. So my average is 2.2 per year. I'm thinking the number will probably stay two to three per year. That seems like a pretty reasonable number. It does take me a while to go through an eye cream, but I do use them every single day. And lately I've started using them morning and night. So that's that category. Then we have a very interesting category, which is face SPF. So ever since 2017, I've been wearing face sunscreens, but I've gotten more and more religious with my sunscreen usage since then. And in 2019, I started doing my yearly sunscreen roundups where I would test out and review like five to 15 sunscreens for you guys. I think in 2021, they were even more than that. It was a lot. Um, I really enjoy testing out sunscreens. It's one of my favorite types of products to review. And I just like helping you guys find the best sunscreens out there. So you will see that reflected in these numbers. In 2017, I used up three. In 2018, I used up only two, which is surprising. Um, in 2019, I used up five and a half. In 2020, I used up the same number, five and a half. And in 2021, I used up a staggering nine and a half face sunscreens. Another thing to note is that I technically used up 10 and a half face sunscreens in 2021, but one of them was the Milani SPF BFF primer with SPF 30, and I counted that in my makeup empties analysis as one face primer. I didn't want to count it in both because I kind of felt like that was cheating, but I did technically use up one more than what is shown here. But another thing to also keep in mind is that my boyfriend also uses these sunscreens, so that contributed to this number as well. But in my mind, sunscreen is the one category that the more I use up in a year, the better, because I can always improve my sunscreen diligence, but the average number of face sunscreens that I've used up 
per year is 5.1 or about 5 per year, but I'm guessing it'll start going up even more um, as I just get better and better at wearing a lot of sunscreen. So yeah, I, I'm actually very happy to see that number as high as it has been over the last few years. And it makes me kind of surprised that I only used up two in 2018. I must have, that was back before I knew how much sunscreen to use. So I probably would just use a smaller amount than I do now. But now I know, the more you know. Then we have the category of single use masks. And this includes both, both face and eye masks. Cause I've had in the past some like little under eye patches, you know, and then also like sheet masks or face masks that come in like a single use packet. So this has been on a downward trend over the years. In 2017, I used up five and many of those came in a subscription box that I had. 2018, I used up four. 2019, I used up two. 2020, I used up zero. And in 2021, I used up three, all of them being little under eye masks that came, it was like the e.l.f. charcoal under eye masks that came in a pack of three, but I counted those as three eye masks. That brings my average to 2.8 per year. I'm hoping this number will continue to go down. I'm just not a big masker. I kind of just, I don't know, it's, it's an extra step that I just, never seem to feel like doing. I just would rather my regular skincare routine do everything I need it to do. So not big on masks. And again, I'm not big on multi-use masks either. So this would be any kind of mask that comes in a squeezy tube of any kind where it has like, you know, multiple uses in it. Duh, I feel like I didn't have to explain that, but whatever. Um, in 2017 and 2018, both I used up one. And then in 2019 through 2021, all three of those years, I used up zero. So my total is 0.4 per year. Then the category of blotting sheets, I'm also including here because in 2017 and 2018, I used these a lot. And then I stopped buying them after 2018 because my skin became a lot less oily around that time. But in 2017, I used up one pack of blotting sheets. And then in 2018, I used up two. And then in all the subsequent years, I used up zero. So my average is 0.6 and I'm thinking it'll trend even closer and closer to zero over the next years to come because I don't use them anymore. So now taking a look at the total number of skincare products that I used up per year, this number ranges from 27 products, which was the number I used up in 2017, and 38 and a half, which is the number that I used up in 2021. In 2018, I also used up 38. So the average total number of skincare products that I use up per year is around 33. Yeah, I'm curious to see how that number changes. By the way, I do plan to continue doing this type of video yearly from now on, just because I find it so fun to look at. I, yeah, I cannot even express how like interesting this is for me. I have no idea why, I feel like it's kind of a weird thing to find interesting, but whatever, I'm just rolling with it. A lot of you guys seem to find it interesting as well, so. We're gonna keep doing it yearly, I think. Okay, so now moving on to body care. I find this one really interesting as well. And this one, there's a huge range in the number of products that I used up per year. So it's just interesting to see. So for body care, I've got um, two different categories for body cleansing. The first one is body wash, shower gel, whatever you wanna call it liquid body washes and bar soaps. So in 2017, I have written down that I used up one body wash. I feel like I had to have gone through more than one in the year, but that's what I have. <laughs> 2018, I used up two, 2019, four, and then in 2020 and 2021, I used up one each. So the average number of body washes I've used up per year is 1.8. And also in 2019, that was the first year I started also trying to use more bar soaps just to reduce some waste that way. So in 2017 and 2018, I didn't use up any bar soaps. In 2019, I used up two. In 2020, I used up three. And in 2021, I used up seven. Bar soaps, I definitely find I go through them faster than body washes, but a lot of them also tend to be cheaper. Lately, I'll buy like the two pack of Aldi store brand bar soaps. It's like $2 for two soaps. And those bar soaps do last a pretty long time. Um, sometimes I also like to buy soaps from like small businesses and those are a little bit more expensive. But anyway, so my average number of bar soaps per year is 2.4, but I do see that number continuing to increase over the coming years, or it'll probably stay around like maybe seven or eight. And again, keep in mind, my boyfriend and I also share these. So that also is gonna 
make the number a little bit higher than if it were just me using them. Then we have body scrubs. In 2017 and 2018, I didn't use body scrubs, but 2019 was when I discovered the world of body scrubs and now I love them. I know I said I don't like scrubs on my face, but I do really enjoy using them on my body. I just find it, I don't know, they feel really nice. I feel like they help kind of smooth out my skin and they just feel like a luxurious, treat myself kind of product. So in 2017 and 2018, I used up zero. In 2019, I used up three. In 2020, I used up one. And in 2021, I used up three again. So my average per year is 1.4, but because I now typically always have a body scrub in my shower, I'm guessing this number will increase a little bit. Then we have body lotion, which I've also gotten a lot better about using body lotion. There was a time when I almost never applied body lotion all over my body. That was only a matter of like a couple years ago, but in 2021 really was the first year that I started applying body lotion after every shower. So I don't think I'll ever go back, honestly, because now I finally see like why, <laughs> why it's important to apply body lotion. I don't have particularly dry body skin, but it's just good to replenish some of that moisture after you've showered. And it's also just good for helping your skin stay healthy and age a little bit more gracefully. So in 2017, I used up four body lotions. I think some of those were minis though. Remember I used to have a lot of like mini Bath and Body Works lotions. In 2018, I used up two. In 2019, I used up two and a half. In 2020, I used up one. And in 2021, I used up five. <laughs> so now that I'm really in the habit of using body lotions every day and applying them all over my body, um, I'm thinking the number will probably stay closer to five or, you know, four or five per year now. So the average since 2017 is 2.9 body lotions per year. Then we have body slash hand SPF products. I, I've only used up one hand sunscreen, the Supergroup one, but so I just decided to lump that in with body SPFs. In 2017 and 2018, I used up zero. In 2019, I used up two. In 2020, I used up three. And in 2021, I used up two again. So I'm happy that this number has increased since 2017. Um, body SPF is another area where I'm always trying to get better about just being more diligent with applying body SPF. Ideally, I'd apply it every single day. To be honest, most days if I'm staying in my house, most of the day I don't apply it unless I'm going out for a walk. When the sun is out, then then of course I will. Um, but also in the winter, I'm normally wearing like long sleeves and long pants, so I don't feel the need to apply it to my body those days. Um, and I do, I do now have driving gloves in my car, which I prefer wearing those over putting sunscreen on my hands, because I don't love the feeling of hand sunscreen. <laughs> but anyway, always trying to improve in this area. I'd love to see this number go up to like four or five in the next few years. Then I have a category for hand cream. In 2017, I used up zero. I may have used some of those body lotions on my hands as well, but this is really for dedicated hand creams. In 2018, I used up one. In 2019, I used up four, which is the most yet. In 2020, I used up one, and in 2021, I used up three. And one of those in 2021 was actually a face cream that I repurposed as a hand cream because it broke me out on my face. So I decided to just count that as a hand cream. So my average number of hand creams per year is two. Then we have fragrance. So this includes both body sprays and actual perfumes. I think all the ones I've used up in the last five years have been body sprays because I really only started wearing true perfumes in 2020. So in 2017, 2018, and 2019, I used up one body mist in each of those years. And then since then, I have not used up any. So my average is 0.6 per year. But now that I've started getting into fragrance, I did buy and also receive in PR quite a few fragrances in 2021. So my collection has grown a lot. I'm hoping that also means I'll start to see some more perfume empties in the future, hopefully as I use some of them up. Then we have a category for shaving cream and or shaving gels. So in 2017 and 2018, I used up one. In 2019, I used up zero. 2020, I used up one. And in 2021, I used up two for an average of exactly one shaving cream per year. I know some people also use conditioners as shaving creams. I just like shaving creams. I feel like they work better than conditioners. They rinse out of my razor more easily, so I'm gonna stick to using shaving creams. So then we have self-tanner. The only year I used up any self-tanners was in 2019 when I used up two. Um, yeah, I remember I was like really making a point to use those up because I was I moved that year. And so I think I had one of them in my project pan that year because I was trying to just go through them. So my average number of self-tanners per year is 0.4. 
and that'll probably stay pretty low. I do occasionally use self-tanner, but it's, it's a pretty rare occasion. Then we have single-use bath bombs or like bath salts, Epsom salts that come in a single-use packet. So in 2017, 2018, and 2019, I didn't use up any of these because I, I really just didn't really take baths back then. But then in both 2020 and 2021, I really got into taking baths as like a self-care thing. So um, both years I used up three. So that brings my average to 1.2 per year. And then we have multi-use packages of bath salts. So like Epsom salts or anything like that that's in like a bag. The only one I used up was in 2021. And so my average per year is 0.2. So now looking at my body care totals for those five years, the total number of body care products that I've used up per year has ranged from seven all the way to 27. And the highest year, again, of course, was 2021. Also in more recent years, I've started to have a lot more products in this body care category as I've started to receive more PR from brands. And I've also just become a little bit more interested in trying different types of products like body scrubs, bath products. So that explains why that number would be higher as well. Back, whereas back in 2017, 2018, I would often just have like one product in each category and just use it all the way up before I bought a new one. I was a little bit more of a minimalist back then. All right, the last category is hair care. And there's also a huge range between the earlier years and the later years. I've also tried, <laughs> tried my best to get more into hair care. I used to be very lazy with my hair, very minimalistic. I would pretty much shampoo, condition, that was it. Maybe I'd occasionally curl it. So you'll definitely see that here <laughs> reflected in these numbers. So shampoo in 2017, I wrote down that I used up two, which sounds like very few. In 2018, I used up six, 2019, four. 2020, I only used up two, which sounds like, I don't know, is that right? But 2020, I was also using scalp scrubs, which doubled as a shampoo. And I do have a separate category for those. So I think that probably explains why that number is lower. In 2021, I used up six. So my average number of shampoos that I go through per, per year is four. And I do shampoo my hair, I would say every other day, um, sometimes every day. I know, I'm a more frequent shampooer. That's just, it works better for my hair type. Then we have conditioners, which has been pretty consistent. 2017 and 2018, both I used up two, both years. 2019, I used up three and a half. 2020, I used up three. In 2021, I used up four, with an average of about three per year. Then we have hair masks, AKA deep conditioners. 2017, I used up zero. In 2018, I used up one. In 2019, I used up zero again. And then in both 2020 and 2021, I used up two. And that also, my boyfriend is also big on using hair masks because he has pretty long hair. So um, we both use them, which is why I think probably why we went through two both years. So the average number of hair masks per year is one. Then we have the category of single use color depositing hair masks. I've only used these in one year so far, the little Moroccan oil color depositing conditioners, I used up two of those in 2021. Um, and all the previous years I used up zero, so my average is 0.4 per year. It was fun to experiment with those, but I just don't really think that's my thing. I don't really have a, much of a desire to color my hair. If I ever do, I probably would try the brand Overtone because I've heard good things about theirs. So yeah, we'll see, but I don't have a huge desire to try any more of those. Then we have scalp scrubs and exfoliants. I went through a major scalp scrub phase in 2020 and so did my boyfriend too. But then we both moved away from using them because I started getting paranoid that it might cause breakage and so did it. We both were like, oh, maybe we don't need to use these. So anyway, 2017, 2018, and 2019, I used up zero. 2021, I used up four. <laughs> that was the big year of those. Oh, and that also includes one like foaming scalp detox product that technically had salicylic acid in it, so that was more of like a chemical scalp exfoliant. I'm counting that in this category as well. And then in 2021, I used up one, and I'm thinking this number will probably go back towards zero for future years, just because I kind of realized I don't think I need that in my routine. So the average sc number of scalp scrubs per year is one, but it'll probably decrease as years go on. Then we have a category for any kind of leave-in conditioner or hair serum, any kind of leave-in product like that. In 2017, I used up zero. In 2018, I used up two. 2019, zero again. In 2020, I used up one. And then in 2021, I have 
0.5. I think I, I think I used up a mini. Yeah, it's like a mini Amica one. So the average per year is 0.7. I think the average will probably get closer to one per year just as I've gotten more interested in hair care and hair products. I also have started styling my hair more often than I used to. So um, I think we'll start to see that number at least level out around like one per year. Then we have texture sprays. So I use texture spray now every time I style my hair. So this number will also start, probably start to increase over the years, but the only year out of all five of these years that I used one up was in 2019 when I used exactly one texture spray. So my average for the five years that we're looking at is 0.2 per year. I'm thinking this will start to creep up closer to one per year now. I love texture spray. Now I can't imagine my life without them. I just feel like they add so much volume. Then we have dry shampoo. I'm not a big believer in dry shampoo for me personally. They Most of them irritate the crap out of my scalp. So I have one powder dry shampoo from a cure that I use. That's the only kind that doesn't seem to bother my scalp. I use it very rarely, just whenever I just really need some dry shampoo, but I've had the same one since like 2019. So it's, I, I go through dry shampoos very slowly now. I used to use them more, but I've never used a ton of them. In 2017, I used up zero. In 2018, I used up one. In 2019, I used up two. And then in 2020 and 2021, I used up zero. So the average number of dry shampoos that I use per year is about 0.6. Um, I'm guessing that will probably stay quite low. I would rather just wash my hair than use dry shampoo, honestly. The only thing I wanted to note here is that, did you notice there was a hair care category that I don't even have included here, and that is hairsprays. I now use hairspray every time I style my hair. Again, just a light hold hairspray. My hair does hold a curl pretty well, which is why I never used to use hairspray. But I do enjoy a good light hold hairspray now, like a nice flexible hold one. Currently I'm using the one from Cake. It's called the Holdout, I think. But in the past five years, I have not used up a single hairspray, which is funny. I think I will finally have one hairspray empty this year because like I said, I've started using it more, but it's just so funny because I think that's probably a lot of people's most used category or one of people's most used categories, but apparently not for me. The hair care totals over the years have ranged from only four products that I used up in 2017. That's so funny. Two shampoos and two conditioners and that was it. I feel like there has to be at least one or two products that maybe slipped through the cracks or something that I didn't either didn't include in an empties video or didn't record here. Very interesting, but the most hair care products I've used up in a year is 15.5 and that was 2021. 2021 has been the highest year for hair care, body care, and skin care and makeup as well. <laughs> I think part of that is because A, like I said, now my boyfriend and I share a lot of these products, but two, um, I just have more products now, so I think that automatically means I'm going to use up more of them too. But across all five years so far, the average number of products that I've used up per year is 10.8 or about 11 hair care products per year. That is part two and the final part of my empties analysis. Looking back at all of my empties from the last five years, this was so fun to put together. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed filming it. Yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. Um, I definitely think this is going to be a continuing series on my channel for years to come because I just think it's fascinating. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you've not already. And hopefully I will talk to you again very soon in my next video. Bye.